P. Hey, you might remember four weeks ago, I did a video that I intended to show people just how safe these little alcohol burners are that I use for my cooking and also for the heating inside this wee camper of mine. But something concerned me. I showed how safe it can be by putting the um, oxygen depletion sensor inside and running it for a period of 45 minutes on full power and having no effect on the atmosphere inside whatsoever with the vents open. I had an inch at the top of the window here and an inch open on the inside vent and everything was fine. It was hot, it was fast and in my opinion it was reasonably safe. Today what I would like to do is the same experiment but this time I'm going to do it with the vents closed so that you can see just how dangerous using an open flame and an unvented space can be. So let's get started. We'll put some meths in the stove. Now we'll put the stove inside the heater inside, close all the doors. I'm going to start the stopwatch. We're going to take a look at the temperature, although this time we're not particularly interested in what temperature we're getting. What we're interested in is the oxygen depletion sensor that I've got inside here. We're going to be keeping an eye on that. So here we go. I've set it up on a block of wood just inside the door so we can keep an eye on it through the window. You'll see that at the moment it's on zero. It um, measures in parts per million of carbon monoxide and Anything above 30 parts per million is dangerous. You'll see that the roof vent is absolutely closed. You'll see that the window is also closed. Here we go. The heat is lit. It's going to take a wee while to come up to temperature. But as I say, in this test, it's not really the temperature that we're looking at. It's how quickly the oxygen is depleted using an alcohol stove inside a completely enclosed space. Okay, the burner's going. The CO monitor is set up just inside the door. I'm closing the door. We can still see the CO monitor through the door. We'll keep an eye on that, but we will hear the alarm. We're now going to Start the timer. We'll keep an eye on the temperature just for the sake of it because we can. We're 24 seconds in. So I'm going to kick back and relax for a few minutes. I'll come back every few minutes and we'll just see how we're going. Time so far, one and a half minutes, 90 seconds. I think we'll give it a wee longer than that. <laughs> Have it, that's only 13 minutes and already we're into a dangerous situation. Um, I've opened the door window and the vent and you can see that the uh, is coming down the time frame we're looking at is just on 13 minutes the temperature is far warmer than it needs to be we've dropped down to below 50 parts per million so there you have it, 
in less than the time that it takes to drink a cup of coffee, you could lose your life inside a camper using an open flame to keep warm with no ventilation. Nineteen minutes. This is the news article that I saw online today that prompted me to make this video. Already this winter, some poor guy and his dog have died alone in a van, just trying to stay warm and cook a meal. Please, if you're tight for cash and you have to live in a small space and you need to keep warm, be careful. Take every precaution. The Mr. Buddy Heater people recommend for ventilation four square inches in and four square inches out. But please get yourself a carbon monoxide detector. They're not expensive. And be careful.